Here's the popos when you need them. Now let Rain do some mess like that and the police will be right behind me. Good morning, y'all. So, no, I have not hardly been picking up my camera because I really haven't had anything going on. Um, So, today, what I have going on, let me see. I have to go do a final walkthrough with my client. Then we have closing today at 2. Um, I got to go pick up a new laptop that I'm getting just to do editing and stuff on uh, so I can edit on the go because I don't like... Um, I don't want to try to do it from my iPad. I prefer to do it on a computer so I can put um, my, um, what is the, not jump drive, the big one, the big storage thing. I like to hook that up. Um, and other than that, let me see. We have um, several people coming by the house. This week, because we're getting ready to get the rest of the carpet taken up out of our house, because I hate... Well, I like carpet, but when you have kids, I hate having carpet. And um, we also have pets, so... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just going through cutting the lights off. But, um, because we have um, young kids and we have a pet, I just really don't like carpet, because I just feel like it holds smells. It's easier to keep stuff clean. I feel like when you could just mop the floor or bleach it or whatever you want to do to it. So I have um, a load of laundry going. I have, I've made coffee and I'm about to make up my bed, straighten up this room a little bit. I'm waiting on this man to come. He's supposed to be here at eight. Um, yeah, 7.41. He's supposed to be here at eight. So my husband just um my husband took the kids to school. So I am about to start straightening up and go from there. Then I need to get myself looking human and get ready for my closing today because it's an hour away. So I will check back in with y'all shortly. Hey y'all, so today is Tuesday, February 22nd, it is 1.15, and I am on my way to a closing um, with the client. We were supposed to close back in December, but due to um, a delay and stuff coming in, like cabinets, windows, all that type of stuff, because it's a new construction, um, with a delay to all of that stuff coming in, the closing was delayed. But today is the day, shouty, and we are closing. So that's exciting. Let me see, I am almost an hour away from, I'm almost an hour away from um, the attorney's office where we're gonna be closing at. And then after that, I'm supposed to meet up with my sister. Um, I'm excited about that because she is just a fun fool when we always have a good time when we link up. So I'm very excited about that and I am hungry. I have not eaten anything today. All I have had is coffee. So my stomach is talking to me. Okay. <sighs> if y'all are in Atlanta, Georgia, Douglasville, Georgia, Hiram, Dallas, Powder Springs, any of the metro areas that you are looking to purchase a home or sell a home, hit your girl up, 678-662-7098. Or go to my website at pnjfinancial.com and schedule a consultation. Yes, that was a plug. <laughs> Um, yeah, so in my business, I do a lot of things, um, as y'all know, so my, my main bread and butter is insurance. I do health insurance, life insurance, um, Medicare, vision, and dental. Um, I am a realtor, so I can help you buy or sell. I really don't do rentals. Um, did I just say I'm a realtor? I'm a realtor. Um. 
I really don't deal with rentals. Um, and then I also do basic business formation. So I help people to get their businesses started as far as the paperwork, um, making sure that they are a legitimate business by um, helping you establish your LLC, getting your EIN, getting all your business bank accounts and stuff set up, helping you to get your DUNS number and all of that stuff. Do investments. I help people get, uh, I help people get started with um, helping their money make money. And that's about it. I used to do some other things, but I um, cut those from my business tiers because it just wasn't something I wanted to do anymore. But if you need any of those things that I just mentioned, hit your girl up and I can be of service to you. My um, link is always in the description box, my um, link tree. So anything that you might need to hit me up about, you can schedule it, book it or whatever. I'm excited because we are getting all of the carpet removed out of our house tomorrow. Um, well, no, I think we're going to do half now and maybe half next month or half now, half next week. I don't know. Either way, though, we're getting rid of this carpet. I'm so excited because when we bought our house, that was one of the number one things was that we wanted a house with no carpet. But, of course, every house we looked at had carpet. So, we was like, okay, you know, no big deal. That's something we could just change um on our time or whatever and so we bought our house five years ago as of last month last month made five years that we've been in our house so we did um we started just taking the carpet out um little by little but now we're just gonna do like a big chunk we're gonna do the kids room and we're gonna do their bathroom as well tomorrow and i am so excited because having young kids Plus a dog, I just don't feel like carpet. I just, I don't know. I have a fear of it holding smells. So, and, and keeping it clean. We do have a carpet cleaner, but I mean, I'm always busy. We are always grinding. So like, who has time to constantly be cleaning carpet? I don't want to pay somebody to come clean the carpet. Like, I just feel like it would be easier to just be able to mop the floor and freshen up. They spill something on the floor. Okay, we can sweep it up and go on about our business because like jelly has two guinea pigs so like when she's changing the cage and stuff she always spills like some of the bedding on the floor or whatever and then we gotta vacuum it up but i feel like <clears throat> regardless of how good the vacuum cleaner is it doesn't ever fully get it all up and so i just for my sanity i would just prefer to be able to sweep it up and mop and that type of thing and then with pets i feel like you know pets have odors regardless of how clean you try to keep them and whatnot i just would feel better being able to mop and sweep the floor like who doesn't want to smell pine salt who doesn't want to smell fabuloso who doesn't want to smell bleach on the floor throughout the house i don't know that's just me it could just be a personal personal thing um but I am extremely excited for this carpet to be gone. Yes, we are going to still have like rugs throughout the house. Of course, you, you know, put a rug under the bed or what have you. But come on, sir. Um, put a rug under the bed and stuff like that. But it's still better than... It's, I feel like it still would be easier to maintain than full-fledged carpet. Is it just me? Y'all agree or disagree? Those of you with little kids and pets. So let me tell y'all about what happened yesterday. So, now you know how I always tell y'all I'm not super girly, but that's something I've been trying to work on for, just for my personal self. It's not for anybody else. It's not for my husband. It's not for the kids. It's for me. Um, I have always wanted to be more girly. I have always wanted to just, you know, feel sometimes you know just feel ooh, just feel i don't know just more girly i don't really know how to explain it so you know how i've, I've always mentioned how 
I'm learning. I'm still. I'm learning how to do makeup. I'm learning how to be able to put on my own lashes, and I'm just. I'm learning these things or whatever. So, a part of me making sure that I hold myself accountable to learn how to do these things better is by doing it every day and um, taking pictures and posting them. Um, and I feel like if I don't do that, I won't. I won't do it. And I know that in order to get better, I have to constantly practice doing these things. So, long story short. So I did that yesterday, and I felt real cute. Felt real good about myself. Thought I was doing a little thing, you know. And I posted these pictures. And you know when you post to your Instagram, how it can automatically go to your Facebook. Long story short, so I had a classmate inbox me and tell me how cute I was. Ooh, you doing a damn thing? You know, you got the lips and the height and this, that, and the third. But you, you should grow your eyebrows out for three to six months and then pay a professional to do them. I just sent the thumbs up and I didn't say anything else. She did start the um, comment off with, you know, it's her unsolicited opinion or whatever. I mean, she didn't say it in a disrespectful, rude type of way, but at the same time, it felt kind of rude. At the time, I was like, girl, bye. Number one, because I liked my eyebrows in the picture. Number two, because I'm not like every other girl. I do not like big eyebrows. I think that is ugly, and I don't like it. And I definitely don't feel like it looks good on me. Number one, because my natural eyebrows are big and thick, and I don't like that. I don't want to walk around looking like that basketball player with a unibrow. I cannot think of his name. I always call him eyebrow. But y'all probably know who I'm talking about. I don't want to look like that. As a girl, I just don't think that's attractive and it's not for me. So, at the time, you know, I just sent the thumbs up and I ain't, I didn't say anything else. But then today, for some reason, it's just been on my mind. So, of course, I had to tell my husband about it. And then, it kind of pissed me off because, like I keep saying, I am learning how to do these things. So, every single day that I do these things, I think I get better and better and better. I watch YouTube videos and then I practice doing it myself. Now, yesterday I did um, one, I, I saw this YouTube video, so I was doing it as I was watching the video. I thought my eyebrows looked okay. And then I did it again today. And if, I feel like these jokers look bomb, okay? I feel like this is the best I have ever, ever, done my eyebrows. Let me, I'm driving y'all, so I'm just trying to be close for y'all can see. Now, they may not be perfect, however, oh, baby, <laughs> these things are better than what they normally are, and when I'm looking in the mirror, they look bomb to me, okay? They, they didn't look like this yesterday, um, but it wasn't too, I wouldn't say they were too far off. But, that's neither here nor there, like I said, because I'm learning. But, like today, I just think they are phenomenal. And I don't know if, if they turned out phenomenal because I, while I'm doing them, I had that comment in my head. Or if it's just because I'm practicing every day and I'm getting better and better and better. For example, applying lashes. I used to not be able to do it at all. Um, and I feel like every single day, I'm getting better and better and better. Eventually, I'm gonna be a pro at it. I try to do it as fast as I can, as neat as I can, and as blended with my real lashes as possible. When I look in the mirror, I can see the imperfections of what I'm doing, but I also see the progress that I have made. And when I take a picture, long as it look cute, <laughs> mission accomplished, I feel like, because some of the flaws that I see is like nobody else is gonna see it unless they look they're looking for it or they're that doggone close to me. But needless to say, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do unless she's gonna send me a little coin over here for me to go get them done professionally. But even if she did send me a little coin over here to go get them done professionally, I will put that money in my pocket and continue to practice doing it myself because I'm the type of person 
I want to know how to do it myself because I don't want to have to pay anybody else to do it unless I choose to. Because you cannot put your eggs in a basket with people. Because people don't, um, they don't run their businesses professionally and then, what just happened? And then, you know, you really need somebody to come provide this service for you. And then they leave you high and dry. Then what? But if you know how to do it yourself, get in there and get it done, you know what I'm saying? You, you all right. That's how I look at it. You're not about to leave me. Um, you're not about to leave me high and dry. So, I just found that to this is. Now, I am a Pisces. And I, I'm, I'm hard on the outside, soft on the inside. So, sometimes I do know that I take stuff to, to heart. But I just felt like, boo, that was something for you to keep to yourself. Because of how you like your eyebrows to look. Ooh, because of how you like your eyebrows to look and my eyebrows weren't that. Didn't work for you to get in my um, inbox and tell me what to do with my damn eyebrows. I did not appreciate that. Keep your dog on uh, opinion to yourself. My Lauren to pick up Jelly is going to put my dad in. But I but enough about that because I feel like I look cute and if I don't look cute oh the hell well you ain't got to look at me and, and I got a man in the he ain't complaining because he don't even know what he looks like I'm like babe how this look he's like I don't know what, what I'm looking at what, what am I supposed to see I'm like look right here da, da, da. he's like I don't I don't know what you're talking about you look good to me so but of course he don't but I mean, he done seen me at my worst. He seen me at my, my so far best. Cause I ain't at my best yet. I'm still getting better every day. Huh? Hey, Trump, stay in your lane. But, um, yeah, so, anywho. Enough about that on that. 31 minutes. Yes, I'm looking down at my GPS on my other phone because y'all are in my phone holder because the one that I had over there, I had two, the, my husband broke the other one, so I ain't replaced that one yet. So I'm holding this one because I'm talking to y'all over here. Because my cat, the, oh, the, my camera, I usually have it over here on the dashboard, but my card is full, so it wanted to let me record. So later today, hopefully I will clean that off and get rid of all the old footage that I don't need that's on there, especially because Jelly has been begging me to film something to do with baby dolls. I don't know, something she want to post on her channel. I don't know, but I told her she got to wait till I clean, clear my own card off. I'm probably going to buy a second card anyway. I'm just going to clear it off and move it to my own, the big travel, the big, um, Lord, what's the word? The big, storage thing one TB storage thing I have to keep all my stuff on so I'm probably going to just clear, clean it off and put everything over there and um, be done with it I can't stand riding on the side of semi trucks they do not pay any attention I have been ran off the road so many times from them just trying to just get over it look like it's about to storm so disappointed in this weather this week because I'm trying to go bike ride with the kids and our new um the bike rack thing that go on the back of the truck came in last night I ordered one before ordered the wrong one because it had to have a hitch I don't have a hitch on my truck so I had to send that back and then order a new one and it came last night and I am so excited and I can't wait to hook those bikes up and go bike riding on the trail so hungry. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Y'all, I wish y'all could have just seen this car. He is speed. He's going like 100 miles per hour and he just went around me and this other car in front of me. In the emergency lane with two cars in the emergency lane. But like, I hope he gets to where he needs to go. He must have got a Google on himself because that's the only thing that I can see to warrant you to drive that fast. 
but you got to go around people in the emergency room. Like, where's the popos when you need them? Now let Rain do some mess like that and the police will be right behind me. I hope they get there. Cause that was not safe at all. Scared the mess out of me. I thought they was about to just run straight into the back of me. have 27 more minutes before I get to my destination so I'm about to vibe out to some music because you know I gotta keep my, keep my energy up so I will check back in with y'all it never happened if the tape I snap it I'm a hot girl I, I do hot shit I finish it come on my outfit why you wanna do the bad bitch bro make this every bad bitch bro One eternity later. All right, y'all. So I am here at my closing. So I am going to go in here and celebrate with my client once she signs on this dotted line. She's signing her life away, y'all. She's signing her life away. But it's a blessing. Being a homeowner is a big, big accomplishment. And I know how I felt when I closed on my house. So really, that's how I got into this. But that's a, that's a, another time. So I will check back in with y'all later. Gratitude. 
for stuff that people do because she could have kept the information to herself. You know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't, it would not have changed my life. Like I make more now than I have ever made in my life. And you know, I, it's, it's a blessing. I was able to retire my husband from his job so that he can work on on what he wants to work on, which is he he does music and stuff like that. It's, it's a blessing. And that's why, like, when y'all watch my vlogs and stuff or whatever, like, we be out on dates in the middle of the day. Or I be like, when my husband is out doing whatever it is that he does, he, whatever he's doing, because we have that freedom. He can go out and he can go network with people. He can go sell his merchandise. He can go do whatever it is that he's doing to work on what he wants to work on. Because, simply because, my sister shared that information with me. Now, before she shared that information with me, I was still already an entrepreneur. I was still already doing my own thing. I was still already good. But I wasn't good to the point that I could retire my husband from his job. And I wasn't good to the point where, okay, now I need to change my business from an LLC to an escort. You know, so she helped to elevate me to the next level. I was already trading and stuff like that. Cause we do that stuff together. Actually, that's how we met. Um, but like I said, I mean, because she shared the information with me, she pretty much taught me what she knows and stuff. I was able to elevate. And that's why it's good to have people around you that want to see you win just as bad as they want to win. It's enough out here for all of us. Ever be grateful to her. I, I, I feel me. Baby, <laughs> when I tell you, it changed my life. Okay? I, I hate to say it how bad it may sound, but COVID changed my life for the better. I, I don't have no complaints. COVID changed my life. I just, and my heart goes out to all the people that it has affected negatively, but I am so thankful that I didn't have that experience. It, it affected me positively. Like when it first happened, I owned the daycare center, and I, I had went from, that was one of my dreams of income. I had just opened it. So I was just getting to the point of break even. And COVID hit and I had to shut down, but I was still having to pay bills on it. So I had to make the decision of was I going to fully let it go or was I going to keep shelling this money out for God knows how long until I really could be back up and running. And I decided to let it go. But during that whole time of COVID, we were able to stay afloat because I knew how to trade in the stock market. In the, in, the, in the, you know what I'm saying? I knew how to trade. So that whole first year of COVID, I traded us through that. My husband was still working, but for the most part, we wouldn't have been able to survive just on one income. So I was able to trade, trade us through that. And I'm so thankful that I learned how to trade, what, four or five years ago. And when I was trying to put everybody that I know onto it, oh, oh, that's a scam, oh, this, oh, that, oh, this, that. And so I was like, okay, cool, whatever. But then as soon as COVID hit, now everybody want to hit me up. Oh, I'm, I want to know how to trade, this, that, a third. Nope. I'm nope. It's a scam, remember? It's a scam. I'm good. Nah, I don't even do that no more. Because I used to teach classes and everything. Like, if you go back, back, back on my channel, you'll see where I was posting trading videos and all this stuff, trying to teach people how to trade and all of that. And, you know, but after a while, I got so sick of small-minded people. Oh, that's a scam. That's a scam. And this and the third. Oh, I don't want to take the time to learn that. You can't just do it for me. Like, baby, what makes you think I'm going to take my time to trade up money 
just to give it to you and you did absolutely nothing. Hell no. So, anyway, I got to the point where I just stopped trying to tell other people about it. I only mingled with the people who was already diddling and dabbling in it. And, that's, and I'm good on that because I don't have time for small-minded people. I only like to, like, if, a lot of people, though, that did follow me, they already knew. If Rain doing it, it's making some money. If Rain doing it, it's some money to be made. They ain't asked too many questions. They just said, how I go about getting it. Them the type of people that I'm looking for. Those are the type of people I'm trying to deal with. Because they already know what type of stuff I be on. I don't have time for people that be like, oh, well, you do it and let me know how it work out for you, and then I'll see. Nope. You ain't never got to worry about me mentioning to you again, ever. Please believe that. Please believe it. My homegirl called me and said, hey, so-and-so just hit me up with this opportunity, girl. It's making some money. I done seen this, done that, da-da-da. All I'm going to say is, how I go about signing up, how much I got to invest, what's the return on investment, all right, let's do it. That's, that's all you can hear from me. That's it. What's the return on investment? Especially because when you're an entrepreneur, you, you don't have a retirement account. You don't have no 401k and all that stuff that somebody else set up for you and that's going to pay you out when you get a certain age. You don't have all of that. And then what if you what if you decide you want to retire before that certain age? You don't, you know what I'm saying? Then if you pull your money out early, you got to pay all these penalties and whatnot. And stuff. I don't like to roll like that. I, I don't call me stubborn, bossy, whatever it is you want to call me. But baby, I like to move to the beat of my own drum. Okay, just like how I told my husband, okay, it's time for you to retire so we can travel and do what we want to do when we want to do it. That's what I mean. If I say, okay, I'm ready to retire, I don't want to work no more. I just want to live off my investments. That's what I need. I'm not going to get anybody's permission. I'm not going to want to pay penalties to pull my money out to live off of. I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm going to do what it is I want to do when I want to do it, period. And that's how I operate. That's why I was never, I've, I, I've never been a person to have um, an employee mindset because I don't like being told what to do. Call me rebellious or whatever. I'll be that. I'll be that. Because I'm not clocking in and I don't know nobody's job. And if I have to, please believe I'm not going to be there long. This is just going to be a stepping stone for me to get to what it is I'm trying to do as fast as I can get here. Y'all, it's getting dark because it's um, 6.43. So I'm losing my daylight. But yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Because I'm a boss. I'm a boss chick. I always have been a boss chick. I'm always going to be a boss chick. And I can't, I can't be around people that can't respect me. There's so many people that dislike me right now because they not me. And that sounds super cocky. It took me a long time to get to this place in my life to accept that. Um, that people hate me because they not me. And I used to always be like, well, I don't understand why they don't like me. I haven't done nothing to them and this, that, and the third. And then, you know, I have people tell me, oh, because you walk in the room, you think you all that and this, that, and no, baby. No. My energy just excludes. I walk into the room and you just can't help but to feel my energy. That's just who I am. Who I'm always going to be. And you know that. That ain't my problem. But see, I'm not that type of female that feels like, oh, I can't help the next person because I don't want to lose what I got. No, boo, ask me. Because I'll tell you everything I know. You know why? Because you're not me. I'm me and you're you. I can tell you everything I know, and you you can still not do it. You can still not succeed because you're not me, and it might not be for you. And even if it is, it's enough out here for all of us. There's no need to be trying to. You can't you can't reach everybody. You can't sign everybody up for insurance. You can't help every old person with their Medicare. And the stock market ain't gonna never be too overcrowded. As far as rental properties, <laughs> you can't buy them all, sis. So, I mean, I just, I, I've never been that type. Like, I have people that's close to me that I can't understand why they can't ever be happy for me and the achievements and stuff that I accomplished in my life. 
Especially when I'm willing to show you how to do it. I'm willing to uh, put you up on game. Matter of fact, I have tried to put you up on game. And you don't hear nothing I say to you. Nothing. But then you want to you wanna know, well, how was Rain able to do this? How was they able to do that? Keep wondering, boo. Keep wondering. And the only reason I'm saying that is because this stuff gets repeated to me. Oh, so-and-so came to ask me, how was you able to do this and how was you able to do that? Don't worry about it. Keep watching my every move. Have, have y'all ever noticed how when you post on social media, let's say you post a story or you post a reel, your views be sky high though. People who you don't even realize to see your Facebook screen or they following you on Instagram, they don't watch your story or your reel though. But they don't never like nothing, though, do they? They never like it. You know what that's telling you? They watching. They watching your every move. They watching it, but they ain't gonna like it. That's haterism, man. That's a, being a hater. Oh, you can watch my every move, but you can't like nothing I post. Let me get on here and post some dumb stuff. Me and my husband talk about this all the time. Let me get on here and post something about smoking weed or drinking and all this other stuff. Oh, oh you'll like that. Oh, I, I dog walk this girl in the apartment complex because she was looking at my husband. Da, da, da. Y'all are like that though. But let me post something about my business or let me post something that's positive and productive. That don't hardly get any likes. Only stupid stuff get a whole bunch of likes. And it's just crazy until you get around the right network of people. The right mind frame of people. When you become an entrepreneur and you start your small business and this, that, and the third, don't look for, listen sis, this is, this is the biggest advice I could give you. Do not look for all your support and all your sales and stuff to come from people that you know. To come from family members and friends. And I know, boo, you're not going to blow up off of them. You're going to blow up off of strangers, okay? Your target market is never going to be the people you know. It's never going to be your family members. It's strangers. Keep that in mind. If you don't listen to nothing else in this vlog, boo, your target market, hear me when I say, is strangers. That's who you are looking for. If your family and friends support you, uh, that's all well, fine, and dandy. That's cool. That's just a bonus. Because that is not your target market. And do not expect for them to share your stuff, to like your stuff, to support your stuff. You're going to have some that do it, yes. Don't expect it from a lot of them. Strangers is your target market. And the sooner you realize that, the better off you will be. Keep that in mind. Because if not, your feelings are going to be hurt. Lord, this man about to hit me. Your feelings are going to be hurt. It may discourage you and have you down a lot of nights. But if you go into it already knowing that, you'll be good. You're looking for the strangers. You're looking for like-minded people. You're not looking for family and friends. that marinade that that came from a place of love that came that that was some, some sincere some, some some for real sincere sincerity and it comes from experience also for real for real they're not if you, if you start a youtube channel they're not going to be the ones they're helping you get your watch out helping you get subscribers don't look for it don't look for it but because it's getting so dark, I'm going to end today's vlog right here. I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of a vlog or just the end of today. But if it is the end of the vlog, thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all on the next one.